Certainly. Greetings, Susan Richards. Hi, Owatu. It's great to see you. Armed with the Macran Crystal and the Muonic Inducer, you will. But there is little choice in the matter now. You are the last hope of defeating Doctor Doom. Should you fail, all is lost. I have interfered too much already. Or so my brethren believe. They have taken steps to prevent me from any further action. Because I saved you from death at Doctor Doom's hand, my people have nullified my powers. I could no longer aid you, even if I wanted to. We are Watchers, which means we are sworn not to affect any kind of change, no matter how small. Yes, but I am certain, in time, my people will see reason and restore my powers. But until then, I am helpless. You are quite welcome. Welcome back. You did a good job finding the McCran crystal. Dugan has come to Adelan, and from his report, things don't look good. Entire landscapes have been converted into Doom's twisted view of perfection. He's gone to a great deal of trouble to make a mockery of former hero bases. The X-Mansion, the Baxter Building, even Stark Tower haven't escaped his notice. Every attempt to stop Doom has met with dismal failure. Dr. Doom's done worse than defeat them. He's converted them into his own private army. There appears to be nothing on Earth that can stop Doom. Any time at all. Welcome back. I understand you had a little excitement during your mission to Shi'ar. The situation on Earth has grown considerably worse. Dr. Doom has easily crushed any resistance. It would appear you are Earth's last hope. This places even more importance on your acquiring the Muonic Inducer. This device is used by Galactus when he consumes a planet. He is currently in the beginning stages of consuming a planet populated by the Skrull. Galactus is an entity of enormous powers. Born at the destruction of one universe, and during the birth of ours, he wields immense cosmic energy. Because of his incredible power, Galactus needs to devour entire planets to sustain himself. He uses a herald to search ahead and find planets suitable for consumption. They are a much older race than we are, having been capable of space flight for millions of years. Originally, they were peaceful merchants. Then, they met the Kree. The Kree are a race of warriors, so to protect themselves, the Skrull were forced to become warriors themselves. Now, violence and conquest are a way of life for the Skrull. Many times, and because of it, the Skrull have created various warriors in their Super Skrull program. In ways. But the Super Skrull program is much more intensive, and sometimes takes volunteers against their will. But it has created a number of powerful warriors, such as Pybok and Super Scroll. You are welcome. Mrs. Richards, welcome back. I trust things went well in the Shi'ar Empire? We managed to get the Macran Crystal, but it was far from easy, Black Widow. You are welcome. Hiya, Black Bolt. How are ya? Oh, that's right. You can't talk, can you? Your voice is so powerful, 
It would destroy half of Adelan if you said anything at all. But come on, let's put that to the test. Just say one tiny word. Spatula. Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. Come on, repeat after me. Spatula. You're not trying. Spa, two, la. Come on, you know you want to. Fine, be that way. I bet you have a lousy speaking voice anyway. Hiya, black bo- Oh, bo- Oh, fuck. Hello, it's good to see you. What can I do for you? Oh, yes. He and I first met in college. We were supposed to be roommates, but he took an instant disliking to me and moved somewhere else. And that actually worked out for the best. Because I wound up with Ben Grimm as my roommate, and we've been best friends ever since. Hmm, pretty much exactly how he is today. Arrogant, egotistical, and a genius. It's a shame, really. There was a time when I thought he and I could be friends. Well, in some ways, he and I are very much alike in our pursuit of science. The main difference is, I enjoy knowledge for the sake of knowledge. Doom, on the other hand, acquires knowledge in the hopes of using it as a weapon. Back in college, I pointed out an error in a project he was working on. He, of course, refused to accept that he was capable of making a mistake, so he proceeded with the experiment. Unfortunately, I was correct, and the equipment exploded. Doom wound up being expelled from college because of it. To this day, he still thinks I tampered with the experiment and caused all his troubles. It was no problem at all. Have you seen Medusa? Doom must be stopped before he can twist the minds of others. She is the wife of Black Bolt, the sister of Crystal, and a cousin of mine. At a very early age, she was exposed to the Terrigen Mists, which gave her hair that she could control with her mind. When they were both children, she would visit Black Bolt in his cell. They spoke using a special sign language they developed. It wasn't a prison, really. Because of his extreme power, he was placed in a soundproof room. He wasn't allowed out until the age of 18, when it was felt he could control his ability. Very rarely, once when the Kree were making a deal with Maximus to destroy us, Black Bolt shouted at the Kree ship. It wound up crashing on Parliament, killing Black Bolt's parents. Of course. Hi, Sue. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Crystal. It's good to see you. He used his god powers to change her turn her into an evil version of herself. We don't know, but we'll be traveling to Earth to force Doom to change her back. Yes, Doom may have the power of Odin, but we're betting he can't defeat the combined might of the Inhumans. We can't leave my sister in her current condition. Would you be able to wait if it was your sister in this condition? No, we must leave soon and take the fight to Doom. We will make him pay for what he did to Medusa. You're welcome. Medusa, it's me, Sue Richards. Remember? We've been friends a long time. If we truly are friends, then release me! No, I don't trust you. Doom changed you somehow, turned you evil. My Lord Doom did nothing but prove that he is the ultimate power in this universe. And soon you too will realize we are here to serve him. I am so sorry, Medusa. We'll figure out some way to save you. But I don't want to be saved, my good friend Sue. If you truly wish to help, then set me free that I might bring Dr. Doom here. Then we will all bask in his glory. Okie doke. Fools! My Lord Doom will destroy you with a thought. You are insects before his infinite might. He showed me that he is the ultimate power of this universe. None can stand before him. 
You too shall soon hail Doctor Doom as your new Emperor, and we will all bow down before his magnificence. I had gone to Muir Island in hopes of locating the ultimate nullifier, but I soon discovered Doom was waiting for me. He had known someone would seek to use the nullifier against him. I foolishly attempted to battle him, but in a blinding flash of light it all became clear to me. Doctor Doom is invincible and all-powerful. All hail Doom! <laughs> Soon we leave for Earth to free Medusa from Doom's control. Finally a chance for battle! How I shall enjoy stomping that pompous windbag into the dust. Be on your way. Yes, sir. Right. Certainly. Hiya, Black. Up, up, up. You're back again. The Castle Doom is the only place that worm could be. He foolishly thinks all his gadgetry and god powers will save him. Friend, the Inhumans have battled creatures of infinite power before and won. I suspect we'll have things well in hand by the time you return from the Scrawl Planet. Crystal, Triton, and myself. Black Bolt would go with us. But we agreed it was best he stay here and guard Medusa should Doom come looking for her. Ha! Huh. I would go alone, but Crystal and Triton insisted on coming along. Be on your way. I've never been so glad to lay eyes on... Ah, small tack. Yeah, what worries me... I wish I had... Welcome back. You did. Eh? Welcome back. I understand the situation. This place is even. He is currently in. The you are wet. Hey, welcome back. It's a device Galactus uses when he consumes a planet. It converts the vast energy into something he can assimilate. The inducer will allow you to safely absorb Doom's stolen god power. Without it, you'd be fried instantly. Yes, it's kind of like our super soldier program, the scientific experiments that gave us Captain America. Well, the Skrulls tend to force their volunteers into service rather than asking their permission. Some of their super Skrulls have been less than happy once the procedure's done. Hey, anytime. Welcome back, 
Sue Richards. I understand you were able to acquire the McCran crystal. Yes, we did, Karnak. But it wasn't easy. Black Bolt. He is unable to speak. Because his voice is so powerful, even the slightest whisper would destroy half of Attilan. Not if he can help it. He and his wife Medusa have developed a special sign language that allows them to converse. Your trip across the universe to Shi'ar was no trouble for him at all. No, he is as full of energy as ever. I don't know if teleporting tires him at all. I am happy to be of service. Welcome back. Any Did you require additional information? The planet is quite important, as it is home to the Scroll Empress. It also houses the main research center for the Super Scroll program. Galactus is not the least bit concerned about the creatures on the planets he consumes. He is only interested in feeding his ravenous appetite. Yes, while she has proven herself to be an able leader, she is rather self-centered and egomaniacal. Quite often she is attended by two bodyguards, the Super Skrull and Pybok. The Super Skrull was augmented in response to the Fantastic Four. He has powers that are similar to theirs, such as super strength, fire manipulation, elasticity, and the ability to generate force fields. He is also the result of the Super Scroll program. He was given powers that make him capable of defeating Earth's superheroes. I am pleased to help. Well, if you say so. Certainly. about to be sent to the home world of the Skrull. There you need to steal a device called the Muonic Inducer from Galactus, who is presently attacking the Skrull planet. Why is Galactus at war with the Skrull? He's not. Galactus is there to consume the planet. Whoa, this dude eats planets? I gotta get a picture of that. He doesn't really eat them. He has machines that convert the planet into energy he can absorb. One of those devices is the Muonic Inducer. I wouldn't think old Galactus is going to be too happy with us trying to steal one of his toys. No, he won't be. Which is why I'd strongly advise against any confrontation with him. Galactus is one of the most powerful beings we've ever encountered. That would explain why he feeds off entire planets. But how does he choose which worlds to consume? He has a herald for that. A scout who determines which planet's next on the menu. Well, at least we can count on the Skrull to help us out. Not necessarily. The Skrull are a warlike people who've attacked the Earth several times before. They'll most likely see you as enemies. Wonderful. So if Mr. Universe doesn't completely crush us, the Skrull will be happy to finish the job. Yes. Is that a problem? No. Just wanted to make sure what the teams are. Well, good. Now get moving. Team? You now stand on the Skrull homeworld. They are an alien culture who've tried to enslave humanity several times. They'll attack you, but remember, 
Your primary goal is to locate Galactus so you can take his muonic inducer. Well, if you say so. near a set of magnetic shield generators that Galactus uses. These devices convert the planet's magnetic field into a shield he uses to protect himself. On the off chance you'll have to face Galactus, it'd be in your best interest to take down these generators. Could have been Certainly. I 
don't know my own strength. What are you doing here, humans? Are you the ones who brought Galactus down upon our world? Why they are here doesn't matter. Let's destroy them anyway. Agreed, Pybok. They will be forever the enemy. Stay your hand, my brave warriors. We may have use for these creatures. Humans. I propose a bargain. If you are truly here to battle Galactus, then you will require knowledge that I alone possess. Knowledge of a weakness of the Planet Eater. 
In return for this knowledge, all I ask is that you open the main hangar door so that my ship can escape the destruction of this planet. Trust me, humans. Your lives depend on it. I am the Super Scroll, the mightiest of all Scroll warriors. I possess powers equal to the Fantastic Four. It would be a grave mistake not to choose me as your guide. Well, if you say so. Of course. Doing whatever it is Wolverine does. Quite agreeable.
What now? Okay. You still live. You humans are more resourceful than I'd thought. Fools! You should already know that Galactus has no weakness. With the thousands of civilizations he's faced, do you think he'd still be alive today if he was not invincible? Yes. And I'm also going to have you destroyed. Super Skrull! Pybok! Attack! The Empress is wise and just. We are honor-bound to obey her. Yes. And now we have the privilege of carrying out her order to kill the humans. You can
before the master of mystic arts.
unpleasant dreams. Hawkeye, Iceman, Spider-Man, Storm. Bet I could take Doom all on my own. Yes.
on a scroll world. No doubt you've come to try to save my kinsmen. Well, don't waste your time. They're not worth it. They forced me into the Super Scroll program, where I was tortured with mental procedures and drugs. The pain I endured was more than any creature should have to suffer. They are all guilty. All of them! Now stand aside, weaklings. I will not be denied my vengeance.
police are on the double. Uatu says we're running out of time. Doom's beginning to cause real damage with his use of Odin's power. Why not? 